Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining me. My name is Stacy Johnson, and I'm the owner and operator of SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services. And in this series of classes, we will discuss a uh, set of construction documents on basic plan reading. We're going to look at each sheet individually per video, go over what is the most important, and hopefully give you a clearer understanding when you are looking through a basic architectural set of uh, the construction documents. We'll start with the architectural set, we'll go into the structural set, and then individually each of the MEPs or the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. So in this set we're going to be talking about the cover sheet. And the cover sheet is the first sheet that you'll see in the construction set, and it gives you a basic overview of the project itself. If you, When you look at the cover sheet, you're able to determine if the project is from the ground up, a renovation, and the extent of the project. So for this one in particular, we're looking at a set of construction documents for a Popeye's Louisiana kitchen. So this is uh, set primarily, you know, around a uh, construction of a new kitchen. So in terms of the electrical <clears throat> uh, set, it'll be a, a lot more detailed because each of the sets of equipment probably have a different uh, configuration of wire that it needs to power it properly. So, you know, kitchens and things of that nature are usually very complex. So now, but what we're looking at again is the cover sheet. And so our cover sheet in particular uh, has, if we go from left to right, we're looking at the project responsibility chart. And the responsibility chart basically is just a list of the items comprised within the project. Not everything, but some things that they want to point out. And they'll tell you who's supplying the material and who's installing. And so they'll give you indications of supply and install. And when they when we look at a set of construction documents, it's an agreement between the owner of the property and the general contractor. And so they it won't list subs, right? Because we know the general contractor just supervises all the subs that do the work. And so when you look at a set of construction documents, you'll see uh, GC and owner, you won't see subs, but we know that subs do all of the work pretty much. Okay, so uh, responsibility chart, all of the items, equipment, smallware, <clears throat> exterior signs, building signs, drink system, CO tank, security system. And again, it'll tell you who's going to supply the material, the owner or the GC or the GC subs, and who's going to install the material or the item, the owner or the GC subs. Okay, so that will be what we have there. And the most important thing is the sheet index or the list of the sheets comprised within the set. And so when you look at the sheet, you can get a pretty good idea if it's from the ground up or if it is just a renovation. Anytime you see a set of structural drawings, you can assume it's from the ground up, especially if we have a foundation, right? Uh, foundation means there's nothing there. So we are setting the foundation and building most probably a new building on top of it. Or you can have, I mean, renovations also have structural sets, but not a full complete because chances are it's just uh, we're adding to or it's an addition where we're adding to the existing foundation. And so when I look at this, this tells me structural framing is probably from the ground up. Okay, so sheet index, all of the sheets that are comprised within the set. And so individually, we'll just talk individually about, you know, what we'll be looking at in each one. So CS100 is the cover sheet. That's what we're looking at right now. BR100, uh, bidding requirements, that's just excerpts that they have taken from the specifications and they have included within the construction documents just to make some of the things easier to reference instead of going through the whole uh, uh, set of specifications. Side drawings. Okay, so this is a, the side drawings that we have here, they're very basic. They're not a full complete set. This is more or less <clears throat> what they call the MEP site plan. So it's an overview on one sheet of everything that would be in a, a, a full set of side drawings and we'll discuss that in detail. But that's what this set in particular provides. And then the architectural drawings, which is everything that goes in and on the building once the building's been constructed or once the structural components have been constructed. So we're looking at a new floor plan, new ceiling plan, new roof plan, uh, and everything that goes in the building once the building's been constructed. So that's the architectural set. And 
always after the architectural set, we do have the structural drawings, which is uh, the building box. So the foundation and all of the structural components, beams and headers and uh, the roof framing, that's the structural. And nine times out of 10, you will always have the structural set come after the architectural set. Although in real life, as we know, structural comes first. Okay. And also within this set, because it is a kitchen, you're going to have uh, uh, the kitchen set, which kind of shows you where all kind of does show you where all of the equipment is placed within the kitchen. And so the schedule of all the equipment where it's placed. So we want every restaurant to look like every other restaurant. So uh, of the same kind, right? Every McDonald's is the layout is the same no matter where you go. And so that is because of the kitchen uh, setup that we have here or the equipment plan. Now, always last in the set of construction drawings are the MEPs or the mechanical. And I put E before P, but P comes before E right here. But the mechanical, electrical and plumbing and the mechanical drawings handles the movement, cooling, heating of the air. So the HVAC system plumbing is the movement of the water in and out of the building, all of the liquids and gases in and out of the building. That's what plumbing drawings typically show you. And then the electrical set is how the building is powered and how we control the lighting. Okay, so on the cover sheet, of course, it's going to give you the sheet index or all of the sheets that are comprised within the set. And in this class, we'll go over each of the sheets individually, what's most important, uh, what we need to look for, and what you need to know. Also on the cover sheet, a legal requirement that, and let's get over to it, it's a legal requirement that the owner's information the architect and all of the engineers that uh, contributed to the construction or the uh, putting together this set, it's a legal requirement. Their contact information has to be on the cover sheet. So we have the owner, the architect, the mechanical, plumbing, electrical, and structural engineers that were used to put this set together. We always need to know who we need to sue. So that is why that information is there. And then by having the code information, it's saying, yes, the set is uh, compliant with the codes that were in place at that time. And so by having them here, it verifies that, yes, every the code for this year uh, applies to this set because that was what was in place at the time. Building occupancy information. Remember, every set of construction documents is different, but this is the basic information you'll find in every set whether it's on the cover sheet or the few sheets after the cover sheet. Okay, so building occupancy, square feet. If it's an apartment, you know, with different types of units, it'll tell you how many, 20 of apartment A, 32 of apartment type B. Okay, so it gives you all that information. And then the Google Maps, so you can have a, a frame of reference as to where it is located. Now, on cover sheet and on every sheet, the right band is always going to have the same information, except for the page number, of course, because every page number is different. And the right band is going to be oriented in this direction because typically we roll up the set of construction documents. They're rolled up. And so as we have them all rolled up together, all we have to do is flip this end and then we can get the page number we want. So all of the same information, the project location. Uh, the project name, project location, and always, if the set has been approved for construction, it'll give you a permit date, okay? And that's the date we always use when we say uh, this estimate is based on specifications and plans dated that date. And so you always want to use, if there are addendums, you always want to use the last date of the addendum. And if there is no date there, that typically means, you know, they're looking for prices and maybe they're pricing it before they get the permit because you cannot build something without the permit date on there. So be mindful of the permit date. Okay, so that is the cover sheet. That's the first sheet you'll see in the set of construction documents. In ours, it has the responsibility schedule, which tells you certain things within the project, who's going to provide the material and who's going to install that. Uh, sheet index, always going to tell you the sheets that are comprised within the set. So you'll know uh, the extent of the project, if it's a renovation, if it's from the ground up, and that is a clue to is there a really detailed structural set of drawings. Okay, and then all the drawings, what are found, you know, what we're looking at when we look at each of the sets. Oh, of course, we're going to have all of the abbreviations. 
that we may find. We go here and we say, okay, we know AFF above finished floor, TYP, typical, you know, we'll look for stuff that we may not know. And then all of the symbols that they use within the set. Okay, how do they show you, uh, well, how's a note different from the window, different from the door, different from a revision number, different from an interior finish? Where's what's the section view marker, the detail view marker, the elevation marker? Okay, so these are all symbols used within the set because set of construction documents is just a graphical representation of a project, and the only way to describe it is by using symbols and numbers and abbreviations and all that good stuff. Okay, so the cover sheet, first sheet comprised within the set, gives us a good idea of what the project's going to be all about. And if you have any questions or concerns, of course, you can sign up to online office hours by going to our website, www.s, as in Sam, F as in Frank, johnsonconsulting.com, and complete uh, the um, online office hours, and we will set a time that's good for you. Otherwise, thank you so much again, as always, for joining me, and I will see you at the next class. Let's get smart and learn everything we need to about construction. See you next time. Bye-bye.